many choices, but they all lead to a leaner, healthier you. You do not need any peripherals for this exercise. Follow along with the trainer. Let's do some arm circles. Stand straight with your feet shoulder width apart and your arms resting loosely at your sides. Raise both arms straight out to the sides so that your body forms a T. Slowly start making medium circular motions with both arms on either side rotating at the shoulder. Breathe in and out as you rotate your arms. Release your arms back to your sides. Now rotate your arms in the opposite direction. Bring your heart rate up slowly. We're priming the body for a great workout. Almost done, just a bit more. Your heart should be pumping now. Let's work on some balance. Stand straight with your hands on your hips. Raise one leg up with your hip, knee, and foot flexed at 90 degrees. Hold the position maintaining your balance. You don't want to exercise cold muscles. Work out. Return your foot back to the ground and then with the other leg. Bring your heart rate up slowly. We're priming the body for a great workout. Almost done, just a bit more. Your heart should be pumping now. Time for a great hammy stretch. Stand up straight with your arms relaxed and feet shoulder width apart. Bring one leg up 90 degrees in front of your body and touch your toe with the opposite hand. Release your leg back to the ground and repeat with the other leg. You don't want to exercise cold muscles. Almost done. Just a bit more. That should have gotten the blood flowing. Now let's work on the lower body with some squats. Stand pointing straight forward. Hip to shoulder width apart. Keep your abs tight. Lower your hips down and back as if sitting in a chair. Your knees and upper body will naturally move forward. Keeping your heels on the ground, use your glutes to drive your hips and body back up to standing and repeat. You don't want to exercise cold muscles. We're priming the body for a great workout. Bring your heart rate up slowly. We're priming the body for a great workout. Almost done. Just a bit more. That should have gotten the blood flowing. Get ready for some mountain climbers. Start at the top of a push-up with your body in a straight line. Keeping your abs braced, pick up your right foot and bring your right knee towards your right shoulder. In position and repeat with your left leg. You don't want to exercise cold muscles. We're priming the body for a great workout. Bring your heart rate up slowly. We're priming the body for a great workout. Good work, you're almost there. Your heart should be pumping now. Now we gotta work on a cage pickup. Stand neutral with your body relaxed. You're gonna take a step outside. Get both of your feet in the same direction. Get your weight nice and even. You're gonna dive to your ankle and lift. 
Turn the other way. Both feet facing the same direction. Dive and lift. Give me a few reps. Bend your knees. Dive and lift. That's it. You got it. Time for the real deal. You ready? Begin. Good. Nice. Down and lift. Awesome. Weight even. Nice. That's the halfway point. Almost finished, but maybe you can give me a few more reps at the end. Good, bend your knees. Now give me a few more. See if you can push yourself. Come on, really push yourself. Time to get air squat jumps. Get into a neutral stance with a slight bend in the knees. Squat down while keeping your chest up and moving your arms behind you to create momentum. Then swing your arms forward and jump upward, using your legs like a spring, landing in a semi-squat position. Try a few reps. Okay, let me do a few reps. Squat down while keeping your chest up and moving your arms behind you to create momentum. Looks like you got it now. Time for the real deal. All right. Let's do this. Good. We're halfway there. Get down low, then up high. Just a few more reps. You can try to impress me with... Okay, now push it. Let's see how many extra reps you can do. Okay, we're done. That was great. It looked amazing. Keep it up. This is Jake, Sensei with official and part Muslim. Then what does that happen with that? Hold the stretch, then we're to start position. Pete with the other arm. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. Feel that pull on the muscle. Don't hold your breath in your stretch. It's important to stretch after a workout. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. Feel that pull on the muscle. Don't hold your breath in your stretch. Just a bit more. It's important to stretch and cool down after each workout. Time to stretch your hips. From standing position, take a step forward with your right leg and drop your opposite knee to the ground. Your thigh should be parallel to the ground. Point your left arm, rotate your torso and lean slightly back. Hold. It's important to stretch after a workout. Release the stretch and return to standing position. Now switch feet and let's do this on the other side. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. Feel that pull on the muscle. Don't hold your breath in your stretch. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. Feel that pull on the muscle. Don't hold in your stretch. We're almost done. Keep breathing. 
it's important to stretch and cool down after each workout. Time to stretch the lower back. While seated on the ground, extend one leg straight out and cross the other leg over the top. Rotate your torso across the bent knee and look back over your shoulder. Return to start position, switch legs, and then repeat the stretch. It's important to stretch after a workout. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscle. It's important to stretch after a workout. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. Feel that pull on the muscle. Don't hold your breath in your stretch. It's important to stretch after a workout. Just a bit more. Great job! You should be feeling really good about now. Time to stretch out your hips. Lie flat on your back, crossing one leg over the other on your knee. Hold the knee of your straight leg into your body, bringing the other leg up, and hold that. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. Return to resting and repeat with the opposite leg. Feel that pull on the muscle. Don't hold your breath in your stretch. It's important to stretch after a workout. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramp. Feel that pull on the muscle. Just a bit more. It's important to stretch and cool down after each workout. Lie flat on your back, your legs straight out. Bring one leg up to 90 degrees and hold behind your knee as you attempt to straighten. Make sure you keep your other leg straight. Release the stretch and return your leg to starting position. Repeat with the other leg. Don't hold your breath in your stretch. It's important to stretch after a workout. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. Feel that pull on the muscle. Don't hold your breath in your stretch. It's important to stretch after a workout. After a hard workout, stretching helps the muscles from cramping. We're almost done. Keep breathing. That was great. Make sure you bring your heart rate down slowly. Activity lasts just a few minutes.